Yes. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, sure that uh, this working paper can contribute to what the committee has to say back to the commission. The background to uh, the issue we're discussing is well known. Uh, it's the 2014 decision of the International Court of Justice uh, in which it concluded that JARPA 2 did not comply with the purpose of scientific research established by the IWC and concluded that the take of whales under this program did not qualify for the exemption under Article 8 of the Whaling Convention. <laughs> Furthermore, uh, at its plenary meeting in 2014, the Commission instructed, as we have just discussed, the Scientific Committee to revise how it reviews uh, special permit research programs, including in relation to the NXP uh, determinations. In key aspects of its proposed methods, this new proposal is very similar to JARPA 2, and a letter signed by nearly 500 scientists from 31 countries as of today which is appended to this working paper, voiced their strong opposition to the new scientific whale well research program proposed by the government of Japan. Listing, uh, as in this appendix, shows several arguments to which we also fully subscribe. We know that the vast majority of the signatories of this letter are scientists working at public and private universities as well as in government and non-government research institutions. Most of them do not participate in the rather restricted realm of the IWC Scientific Committee, and yet have expressed, based on their own scientific expertise, their most serious concern about how little research programs such as JARPA-2 and the proposed new REP-A affect whale populations and discredit the spirit of scientific research in general. Among the arguments that are listed, uh, the one that is recurrent in these discussions, that there is no other study on great mammals that has required such a disproportionate sample size to learn about their biology and ecological needs. In many respects, new rep A is uh, simply a ring statement of this previous scientific whaling programs, which validity has been questioned and finally rejected by the ICJ. And as the letter signatory state, its validation would represent a regrettable setback for science, an alarming precedent for other multilateral agreements that base their decisions on scientific criteria. In light of the contents of this letter, we consider that the review process of the scientific committee should also take into account these concerns expressed by non-committee scientists. We encourage the committee to find ways to consult more widely with the scientific community at large, especially when reviewing whaling proposals which directly impact whale species and populations that are studied and used in only the ways uh, by nations whose scientific community is underrepresented or not represented at all in review meetings due to budgetary or other constraints. Thank you, Chair. Thank you.